Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor of Random here and today I'll be looking at these charging adapters that probably litter cupboards in almost every household and their actual charging time differences between a few of them and asking, is it worth keeping them all? With the increasing probability that the next phone that you purchase is going to come without a charging adapter, with manufacturers placing emphasis on looking after the environment and moving towards a focus on wireless charging, it places a dilemma on the consumer. Do I need to buy a new charging adapter that will give me the fastest charging speeds or do I continue with the ones I've collected for my previous phones and gadgets? I'll be testing three standard charging adapters that a lot of people will probably have collected from recent purchases. A 5 watt, 10 watt and 12 watt USB-A brick adapter that I've collected from my Apple purchases over the years. On the three charging adapters, I will be using the same USB-A to lightning cable that came with the phone. To ensure fair testing, the iPhone will be in the same state for all the tests. It's an iPhone 11 that due to aging and degeneration of the battery from new over its 20 month life, the maximum capacity of this battery is 85%, which is an issue for another video. As soon as the battery from the previous cycle dies, the charger cable will be inserted immediately, the phone left unlocked, all apps closed, and will be at 100% brightness for recording purposes. So what are we going to to expect from the test. Yes, as you would expect, the higher the adapter wattage, the quicker the charge, but by just how much? So to find out, let's get over to the testing. Plugging the cable in straight away resulted in the iPhone powering up immediately with the 10 and 12 watt adapters, but we had to wait almost a further two and a half minutes before the five watt adapter brought the phone to life. Around the 50 minute mark brought 50% charge with the 12 watt, followed about five minutes later with the 10 watt. Near the end of the charge cycle for both the 10 and 12 watt adapters, we finally see the five watt adapter hitting the 50% charge mark. The 12 watt adapter finally finishes and wins this test with just over two hours and 31 minutes. Followed by the 10 watt nine minutes later at two hours and 40 minutes on the clock. And finally, the 5 watt adapter finishes at 4 hours and 30 minutes to conclude the test. So what have we learnt about the testing? Yes, indeed, and unsurprisingly, the higher the wattage, the quicker the charge process from 0 to 100%. But is it time to throw away those lower end 5 watt chargers? Maybe. But if you like me and mainly charge your phone at the end of the day, where once you put it down, you're not going to pick it back up until after your nightly sleep, then taking four and a half hours for a full charge will be sufficient. So it'll probably be enough just keeping it for using it for that. But if you do charge your phone at any other point during the day, then charge time is going to be important. So the lower watt adapter isn't going to be useful to you and would be worth either using one of the higher watt adapters at two and a half hours charge time or even purchasing a higher wattage adapter. I did the same test using the Anker PowerPort PD2 under the same testing conditions. And thanks to its Power IQ charging technology, charge the iPhone to 80%, even quicker at just under 90 minutes. But due to the phone's internal rules about adaptive charging from 80 to 100%, it was then drip feeding the charge to 100%. But in normal circumstances, it would have got to 100% in the quickest time. If you want to see my review into this charger, I'll link to that up there and in the description below. If there are any other tests like this that you'd like to see me carry out, then just let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below or both if you want. Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one.